on the bus. This right is... on the bus. I'm... Right on the bus. Where are you taking me? It's me to know and I'm you calling find the out. police. Beautiful day. Seems like a nice uh, prior town. I overspin. Janet, don't Picks worry about it. We're on my here vacation at the club. day. Well, we're here at the club. You know more about SW 1200s than probably most of the staff. So why don't we head inside? We'll have a look at them. Okay. All right, let's go. After you. Hi everyone. I'm Jordan Smith here today with Janet of Rapido Trains Inc. And uh, I'm the president and CEO. And Janet is. Uh, what do you do again? I'm the person who wishes that there was no more social distancing so I could come over and wring your neck like I have in the past. Ugh, that you are not the president memories. and CEO of Rapido Trains. Repeat after me. I am not. I am the president and CEO <laughs> today for the purpose of this filming. Serenity now. <laughs> so anyways, we're here at the uh, beautiful Nottawasaga Model Railroad Club in uh, Collingwood, Ontario to shoot our uh, SW1200 video. I'll take it from here, Jordan. All right, then. All right. So these SW1200 diesel electric locomotives were manufactured by the Electromotive Division of General Motors between January of 1954 and May of 1966. These models were very popular with railroads of all sizes, and these ubiquitous models could be seen from coast to coast across North America. They were used mainly for switching and yard service, and sometimes for light branch line duty. Many were equipped for longer trips with enlarged fuel tanks and MU capability. And also different trucks for uh, more heavier duty use. By the time production had been completed, 737 locomotives were delivered to the United States, 287 to Canada, and several dozens had, had been exported to South America. Many of these units, unfortunately, have left the rosters of the big Class 1 railroads, but you can see many of them riding branch lines and short lines across North America. We've got four of our SW1200 uh, pre-production samples here today. And they are... Grand Trunk Western, the As Delivered Scheme. Southern Pacific. Missouri Pacific. Burlington Route. And uh, they're uh, very beautiful, so let's have a look. So let's get started by uh, showing off some of the standard features available on all of our SW1200 locomotives. Etched walkways. Full cab interior, including control stand, seats, and fire extinguisher. Separate wind deflectors. And these are being changed to etched metal parts. Yes, on the early models, we have them as a plastic piece. Metal grab irons. Etched metal grates over the hood radiator and front fan housing. Lift rings. Separately applied metal windshield wipers. Flush mounted windows with gasket detail.
So let's start off uh, with the uh, Missouri Pacific SW1200 and have a close look at uh, its detail. Sounds good to me. So we have the Type A roller bearing trucks with the actual rotating bearing caps. The MP specific class lights on top corners of long hood. And those are an operating feature. Then we have the single trumpet horn on the cab. Coupler cut lever with the single grab extension. Firecracker antenna. Unique spark arresters on the exhaust stacks. And this is a, actually an etched metal part that kind of fits over top there. Enlarged fuel tank for those longer trips. Full length sill mounted handrails with real wire railings. Drop step with associated end railings. So that's a drop step on these engines that's just on the cab end. Um, the hood end doesn't have the, uh, the extra drop step. And finally the MU hoses with that MU capability. So next up is my personal favorite, the uh, Southern Pacific SW1200s, and uh, these are crammed full of uh, very cool, unique details. Um, starting off at the front here, we've got the MU hoses. Uh, this particular version doesn't have the footboards, but we are including the footboards in the optional parts package if you'd like to install them. We've got drop steps both at the front and the rear. We've got the late style coupler cut uh, lever with the, uh, uh, the loop. Um, that was a later option. Uh, I think they installed those in the, uh, in the 70s. We've got the front grab railings. We've got the full metal handrails all along there. You have the full Southern Pacific uh, headlight package. You've got the flashing red emergency light in the center. Um, our model here has actually got it backwards, but uh, it should be the gyro light up on top and the headlight just below the emergency light. And this, of course, will be corrected on the production models. You've got the unique Southern Pacific style uh, angled number boards, right uh, kind of either side of the bell, kind of a standard EMD style exhaust stack, more metal grab irons. You've got the Nathan P3 horn on top of the cab, antenna. Of course, we've got the, uh, the armrest for the engineer and the conductor. And again, the gyro light, sorry, full light package on the opposite end. This also has the type A switcher truck with exposed roller bearings that do roll and the full fuel tank. Here we go with the Grand Trunk Western. We've got the unique GTW headlight number board package, GTW style spark arresters on the exhaust stacks, flexi coil trucks, enlarged fuel tank. Boy you really like your parts enlarged. Cab roof mounted class lights, drop steps, MU hoses, Sinclair antenna on roof, cab mounted horn. Finally here today we have the Chicago Burlington and Quincy SW1200. This is a more uh, earlier production standard model. We've got factory installed footboards, the early style uh, end railings, we've got the hood mounted handrail. These uh, were very early on delivered like this and you've got the little kind of mini end railing there. On the roof you've got the giant wagon wheel antenna which made these very distinctive and the associated uh, conduit and uh, electrical equipment going back to the cab. These have the earlier type A switcher trucks. These are a friction bearing as opposed to the later roller bearing and it also has the standard size fuel tank. We've got all-weather cab windows single trumpet horn and the vent. Um, all in all, a very, uh, very standard uh, early production SW1200. All right, let's have a listen to some of our sound features. All of our SW1200s are equipped with ESU Lock Sound V5 decoders. Engine startup. Bell. Multiple horns.
Doppler horn sequence. Wheel squeal. and brake sound. Okay, everyone, thanks for joining us here at the Nottawasaga Model Railway Club. Yes, and can you please call Jason? I need I need to ride back to town. All right, hold on one sec. I have window shopping to Call do. Admiral Schron on cell. <sighs> right to voicemail, that hose head. When was the last time you hitchhiked? I'm not going to answer that. Well, I guess we better get on. All right. Uh, uh. Can you try giving him a call? He won't answer my phone. Jason, where are you? Get over here. Please, pick up your phone. Ugh. What do you think our options are? We could start walking. Surely you must be joking. I'm not joking. And don't call me Shirley.